please state your name for the record. Charlotte Holmes and I am applying for the instructional design position at... Tell me, Mrs. Holmes, how would you evaluate strategies to determine e-learning effectiveness for a variety of learners in context? Well, the only way to evaluate strategies is with assessments. To determine the effectiveness for a variety of learners is to conduct field assessments to ensure learners can be reached. If you refer to my portfolio, I've studied several evaluations, but I prefer the Smith and Regan method. This process breaks the evaluation down into four stages, the design review, expert review, learner validation, and ongoing evaluations. The great thing about this process is that it requires learning validation, which means the learner is put in the forefront. This is also a great way to assess context because content must be compared to other sites and reviewed by experts. Great. And how would you conduct a needs assessment to address a performance gap? Well, <laughs> when Addressing performance gaps, I would conduct a formative assessment to gauge what the learner has retained. Again, if you refer to my website, you can see two formative assessments that determine lesson retention. Each formative assessment ensures that the learner is on task to achieving the desired outcome. In the issue of a performance gap, this assessment would lead back to lesson review where the learner struggled. That would implement reteaching for the learner and essentially closing the gap. How would you create effective assessments for e-learning activities? The first step in creating an effective assessment is to start with the end in mind. So consider, what is the activity purpose and what do I want my learner to take away from it? Once that's established, you can create an assessment. As you can see, I've used the Gagne 9 method to develop questions on my main lesson page. This is actually a formative assessment on design structure of the page. This assessment assures that all learners know the objective, can complete the objective, are engaged in the lesson, and have the necessary tools to complete the activity. Although this assessment was not created to review retention, it does serve its purpose by ensuring that instructional design of the site is effective. This same strategy can be applied for activities. Well, Mrs. Holmes, Thank you for your time. We will be getting back to you shortly. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting with you.